Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for October 2015. You have a really super powerful month, to say the least, this month. The first card you have is the Eight of Diamonds, which is a very powerful card, and it represents using your power, um, really digging deep and, and really kind of pulling out just, you know, everything you have inside of you and going for something this month. Normally, I will say that normally, that the eight of diamonds can represent money. It typically represents job, money, finance, anything along those lines, business. Um, even doing something like selling your house or, or something along those lines, selling something big, it would be something big. It wouldn't be like selling just like it's something worth like 25 cents. This is like selling something worth as much as a car or bigger really, for the most part. But it's about you really digging deep and, and, and really kind of giving it your all, and you will end up more successful than you thought. So that, I mean, you know, that's the great message with this card, is it's kind of like, if so you are selling your house, you end up getting more money than you thought you would have. If you put in, like, some extra work, you know, do some extra things around your, your house, maybe, to make your house more valuable... There's tons of stuff you can do to do that. Um, in, you know, in, in your job, this is you just working harder and getting noticed. The great news about the Eight of Diamonds is that people will notice you with this card. It brings in this power of like, kind of like, really important people noticing you. If you if you do anything in like social media or if you do anything online or you do anything where being noticed would benefit you, which is pretty much everywhere, really. But you know, specifically. This card will allow that to happen if you work extra hard, and you will get noticed. One of the few times, I mean, for the most part, when we work really hard, nobody notices. But this is, you know, something totally different, uh, better stuff coming in. This is, again, this is you working hard. So typically when this card comes up, by default, you work really hard. But again, it really rewards busting your butt and do and, and really digging down deep into and in, in, in deep down in your soul. And, and it's, it's, some, it's a really deep, deep spot it's it's kind of hard to describe but uh, you know just think of the hardest you've ever worked and you're going to enjoy it because you're going to be seeing the the rewards from doing so you have the queen of spades coming up which is interesting that it came up with this card i believe this is this is just an energy it's kind of like an archetype that's just going to be surrounding you this month and the queen of spades really the message i'm getting from her right now is that you really need to trust yourself this month this card's all about self trust and really believing in yourself and i think for leo specifically you know when you're working on something like this i, I you know and you are really giving it your all and then in the past, you know, when you gave something your all, it probably didn't work out like you wanted it to. Uh, maybe you kind of backed off a little bit and you didn't give it so much uh, energy as you should have because, you know, you're you're really, quite frankly, used to things being taken away from you and, and not getting forward. But this card is asking you to change that, to really trust yourself and to really trust that you know exactly what you're doing. Leo, to me... In, you know, I don't know if it is to anybody else. Again, I'm not an astrologer, so I have no clue what I'm talking about, really. But to me, Leo is a sign of mastery because Leos really, in my experience at, le at least, they really be try to become a master at whatever it is that they're doing. And, you know, you just need to know that you are the master. The, the spades, the court cards specifically, are all about mastery. If we read about them, I mean, if you go read about the spades cards and you read about the birth cards and things like that, spades are always about mastery and really becoming a master and really enjoying what you do. You know, again, you know, I, I watch a lot of videos randomly on YouTube about motivation and things like that. And, you know, somebody in a video that I can't remember who it was, I apologize, um, said that I think it was... Uh, Eric Thomas, I think that's I think that's his name. He says real lions like to hunt. And Leo, that is definitely that should be your message this month is that, you know, real lions they like the whole entire process of the hunt, of hunting, uh, of catching their prey and everything. And it's not it's not just the the act of actually having you know, done the deed and, and and captured the animal and eating it. It's the whole process, the process of chasing it and and chasing it down and everything. So that's kind of obs an obscure way of, of saying what your month's going to be about, but, you know, kind of take what you want from that. Um, 
Next, you have the Three of Clubs, Second Chance. This is like the third or fourth time I want to say that this card has come up for Leo uh, in particular. And, and it's you getting a lot of second chances. I think you finally are getting a lot of second chances. Like I said, you, that whole mastery thing comes up. I keep seeing it in my head, and I keep also seeing that, you know, I've been saying this for months now, that Leo is working very specifically towards one goal, very specific. And, uh, you know, although things might not always go according to plan, I think maybe over the past two years something happened and you had maybe a little bit of hiccup recently and then you know i think now you're reworking it um this card says that you keep getting these second chances so at least you're being moved along and you're kind of being allowed to get to that goal great card to have and to end it you have an even better card six of diamonds great card kind of represents that karmic balancing and kind of like i was talking about it's all about putting out that energy and what you get back uh normally when people have this card they experience a great deal of time where they put energy out and they get nothing back like zero literally nothing not even just a little bit nothing when this card comes in it changes all of that. It's like now you can finally put energy into things and you will be getting it back at least equally, if not more. So this is a great card. But anyway, Leo, thank you for listening and enjoy October.